in this lesson we are going to learn about the basics of XPath. Now XPath is a selector language which is specially created to select elements from an XML document and because HTML falls under XML documents we can use XPath to query web elements from a HTML document as well. Now as we learned earlier that is XPaths are more expressive than CSS selectors that is here let's say what we want to do is select the product title that is this one right here to do that we can just use the CSS selectors with the tag name that is the h3 and a that is if I want to select using the x path I can use the x path method on the response to select a x path and for the CSS one we had just used the tag names that is h3 and a but in XPath, we have to be more expressive and say about their position as well. That is, I want to select this element which is inside of the HTML document. That is the HTML document, which is the whole document. And inside of that, if you want to select any element, that is, let's say this list item right here that we have, like this one. Inside of that, we have another list item. Inside of that, we have the article. Inside of the article, we have H3. Instead of that, we have the A. So using CSS, we don't have to deal with this. That is, if a certain element is inside of our HTML document, we just type out its name and that's it. But using XPath, we can say that we want to select something from the root as well. That is the HTML document. So what we can do is say that select the HTML and then the body, you can see it is just right under our HTML. And after the body, we have the divider. Inside of the divider, we have another divider. Inside of that, the same thing. So if we want to select a element from the root, we can do that using XPath. But in this situation, of course, we don't want to do that because it is pretty deep and it will be a hassle to type all of the things. So we can just select any element that is inside of our document relatively with XPath as well. To do that, we just use two slashes instead of one. And two slashes means that is, we can select any element with the h3 tag name inside of our HTML document. So this is one thing which is different than the CSS selectors. That is, if we want, we can select from the root that is the HTML as well. But if we don't want that, we have to use two slashes like this. That is anything inside of our HTML document that is just open all of the things like this and look for the H3 tag and just find it and give back it to me. Now let's say what I want to do is select the A tag right here. So if I just use a single slash, that means inside of the H3, right after it, select a A tag like this. So here, we have created our X path to select this link element right here. And like our CSS selectors, we can just use the get method to get the data. So let's use get and print it on the terminal so we can see what we have selected. And then let's run our scraper, that is scrapey, crawl our ebook spider. Let it finish. And then we will have the A tag printed on the terminal that is right here. So that's how we create a basic XPath expression to select a web element from our HTML document.